Welcome, this video is all about NeoFetch. There is a new version out, version 5, and this morning I thought, hey, I better check out if there are new features, if I should change something. So there is a new update coming along. So when you have your systems, you update your systems, you'll see that we have a new NeoFetch package. So this Arco Linux NeoFetch kit, here, here, whatever you do, apply here, say yes there, doesn't matter. It's going to install something. It's going to install it to the etc scale.config neofetch. And in this video, we're going to switch between a logo and an uh, ASCII code. So um, we're going to change elements and we're going to give a tip, a great tip, if you're going to work with neofetch. So, um, right, something happened, something was downloaded. We go to the file manager. We are at the moment in Plasma, doesn't matter where we are, but it's installed in here. So this folder, get it all out, Control C, because all the images have been changed. We go to the home, config, and this NeoFetch needs to go. My backup can go as well. Control V, and this is the new uh, icons, all new icons. The size is a little bit larger. 300 by 300 as you can see some space around it so it looks nice and all of them have the same size you can go like this through them they should all have 300 by 300 all right so there's one svg there an svg means you can edit this you can open it with not gnu my friend but with inkscape so it was here second one if you open something with Inkscape, you can change it to any color you like. All you have to do is then save it back as export PNG. Make sure you have page on, so 300 by 300. Give it a name, put it somewhere, export S. And then you need to, to name it, to put it somewhere. And then the export button. Then you have a made a new one. It's not the intention of the video. Cancel, whoops. So close without saving. So we have a new config. There are some smaller things that were added. Um, so we have updated to version, you can see it all the way down, config version 4.0, even uh, when we are actually on 5.0, this is straight from the GitHub. So it's a copy paste and then comparison, you know, with melt. So what do we do? We have here a whole block to the right, scroll up, and these are all our images at this point in time. I have selected the image from, uh, let's see, Ctrl Alt T, config new fetch. At this point in time, I have not uh, taken anything. Let's make this bigger. Let's move this to the other screen, like so. So as you see, all the hashtags are in front of it. That means if you press Ctrl Alt T, you'll get the ASCII code, right? That's the normal look that we have. And then if you want to change it, I've typed a line, choose next line to have ASCII. Do not forget to hashtag out the image source 10 li lines down. That was the video of yesterday. If there is a hashtag in front of it, it'll gonna, gonna make some gibberish uh, kind of logo there. So it's actually going to convert a PNG image to ASCII. But if you say, hey, let's look at these new logos Eric created, then we have image backend. We need this to have an image, but also of course an image. Now this one, don't select this one. This one is going to your ETC NeoFetch, but that's actually built on the ISO. So this file will be there in 6.9, but this point in time, the resolution is bad but the same one is here Control save Control alt t and this is again the logo we used to have uh, some months ago and if you want to change the colors you can actually do so you can actually you don't need to put a hashtag in front of in this case just don't forget you have two of them now and the last one always wins as you see the last one always wins and you can have all kinds of colors. They all should look lovely and straight and sharp, 
because of the, the new dimensions we have. And if we want to go back, so let's make the mistake. Let's say you remember to put this one here. Well, let's make a double mistake. Let's put a hashtag here as well. Control Alt T. Then he says the last image backend is W3M. So this one wins, logos. If you say, I'm gonna hashtag this out, do this. Then we get our gibberish. We just saw it up here, right? That's because it wants to translate an image to an ASCII. So we need to put all these things in front of it again. Hashtag, whoops. I was, I was almost forgetting my tip. The tip, if you want to play around with all these settings, you sometimes have no, um, well, you don't see the result. You say, how oh, is it possible? I've just changed it and doesn't see it. I don't see it. Means, means that right mouse click, go to file manager, home, and then cache and thumbnails, NeoFetch, delete these guys. So this is in the cache, thumbnails, NeoFetch. Do your change, ask again, Control Alt T, and then you'll have a image popping up if of course you have selected the config file. The config file is here, image is selected, ASCII is out, just to prove what I'm saying. So save and then Ctrl T is going to put a file there. And when you're trying to change it or change the color or the dimensions, you say, hey, it doesn't work. Well, because it's using that cache file. All right, that was the tip. Enjoy Article Linux, enjoy the new NeoFetch settings um, and uh, experiment, I would say. There is always a backup, you know, that there is a file config new fetch there is the same file so you can also compare here in um, compare files you can in plasma and you see there are some differences because because of course those were our choices so that's that last thing maybe talking about backups talking about backups don't forget the scale is your backup so keep out of this one and you always have a backup. All right, cheers.